Welcome to the Week in Review at the Nebraska Department of Education. I'm David Jesperson, Public Information Officer for NDE. Thank you so much for watching this brief update. The goal over the next few minutes is to fill you in on some of the news, notes, and events that have happened recently involving NDE. And the coronavirus is in the spotlight everywhere. As the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the state rise, the Nebraska Department of Education is committed to providing guidance to schools. In all recommendations, the priority remains the safety and well-being of all students, educators, staff, and community members. By Monday, March 23rd, the NDE recommends that all schools across the state move to an alternate learning structure, with students no longer reporting to a traditional school setting until further notice. Schools should be prepared to operate in the alternate learning environment for six to eight weeks, with a review of operations every two weeks, including on plans for reopening. The NDE advises districts to continue student learning using available resources. The NDE Office of Teaching and Learning and Assessment has compiled virtual educational resources that are available on the eLearning Days webpage and will continue to add resources as they become available. The NDE also knows food insecurity for students who rely on school meals is a major concern when extended school closures become necessary. The NDE was granted approval from the USDA for alternate meal service flexibility in the case of extended closures. This allows schools to serve students meals at approved sites within the community. All schools with a student population of more than 50% free and reduced price lunches have an opportunity to provide meals through the Summer Food Service Program to any student regardless of their enrollment. Schools with a student population of less than 50% free and reduced price lunch can provide meals to low-income students in their school. Applications and information can be found on the Nutrition Services page at education.ne.gov ns. The NDE is suspending statewide assessment for the 2019-2020 school year. This includes NSCAS General, Alternate, and the ACT. The NDE intends to pursue federal waivers for testing, accountability, and reporting requirements and will work closely with school district leaders, the State Board of Education, and the U.S. Department of Education to pursue policy adjustments for AQUEST accountability and ESSA designations. The NDE is working with ACT to determine if all public high school juniors who would have normally taken the ACT as part of the statewide assessment may have the opportunity to take the ACT free of charge at a later date. The department will be flexible about rule and regulatory issues during this time, including instructional hour requirements, while encouraging innovative solutions to maintain a sense of normalcy and continue instruction and learning for students. The NDE has a dedicated webpage on our website at education.ne.gov slash public health, which includes communications with districts, guidance from the CDC and state and local health departments, sample documents and guides. You can also find a frequently asked questions section that we will continue to update as questions are submitted and a list of known school building closures statewide. Commissioner Bloomstead is in frequent communication with the governor, school leadership, local and state health departments, the U.S. Department of Education, national education leaders, and other officials. That communication includes a weekly conference call with superintendents focused on coronavirus response. And we know this is a challenging time for everyone across the state, but we will work together to do what's right. We're confident students will continue their education and be prepared to move forward next year. Thank you for tuning into this Week in Review. We'll see you next time with the latest news from NDE.